Hey guys, it's Jules here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to change your microdermal anchor if you have one. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but to be honest, I couldn't even figure out how to do it myself until today. Um, some people say that you can just like pinch it so that you can hold on to the foot and then try and twist it off, but honestly, like that was really painful and it didn't work for me. And so I ended up buying these forceps, which I definitely recommend that you buy if you're trying to change your microdermal because um, it'll keep the post in place. And I know that was my biggest fear was spinning it. I heard that if it's not healed all the way, you can actually spin the jewelry around the inside of your skin. I don't know if that's a myth or not, but it was making me really scared. So yeah, these are the tools that I use. Um, you're going to need these pliers. I got them from painfulpleasures.com. They're super, super thin. I wouldn't suggest getting any thicker of pliers because, to be honest, these just barely fit under. Okay, I'm going to show you the process. <laughs> and then, of course, you're going to need some um, microdermal tops. These ones, like the one that I have on, isn't actually a microdermal top. It's um, just some sort of thing that I found on Body Art Forms. I was opal. I have another one. These are. This is what I had in the little jewel, and then this other one is supposed to be like a retainer, but I don't think that's gonna work out for me. But yeah, so pretty much, get your jewelry ready. You're going to need to get a type of pliers. I would really suggest getting these ones from Painful Pleasures. I didn't find another pair that nearly compared, and you really can't do it without these, to be honest. I mean, from my experience, like, it was really difficult without them. And definitely get some gloves, because um, you're not going to be able to grip the jewelry well enough without gloves. Like, I tried it without gloves, and it didn't work. But today, I just got these gloves in the mail. Just any type of gloves, gloves, gloves that have um, friction. So yeah, pretty much what you do is you get your microdermal area and see how these pliers have a little hole right there. Or there's like a little gap. You're going to try and get that gap right around the post. I'm not actually going to take this out because it actually is kind of painful and um I don't know, I feel like it's bad. Mine, I don't think my microdermal is healed all the way. And so they have these little things at the bottom. So you're going to want to like make sure that it's clamped around and then it'll be secure. So let me zoom out. This is what it looks like. So now the post that's holding it is secure. And then with your gloves on your hand, which I'm also not going to show you, then you can grab this ball and then twist it. Twist it as much as you can. Keep twisting. I know um, I'm twisting it the other way. It's going to be really hard to take off. Mine, I could barely grab it. Like, I saw online some lady was using, like, some pliers and, like, using this and using the pliers. But my microdermal was so, um, the gem top was so thin that I couldn't grab it. So using gloved fingers, I just kept working it. And it didn't even feel like it was coming loose at all. And then all of a sudden, I noticed it was coming loose. And I was like, oh, my God, finally. I figured out a way to turn it loose. Yeah, so after you have it come off, I don't know if you've ever seen what it looks like, but you can just barely see the little post sticking through. And then you're going to want to take your new jewelry. So you want to keep these on. I took them off, but I would suggest keeping them on because I feel like I don't even know if I screwed this tight enough. I'm, like, paranoid that I didn't. But so I would suggest keeping these on. And make sure that you keep them flat. You don't want to be pulling the microdermal out. I don't know where, that, where it goes. But yeah, make sure to keep them flat against your face. Don't go like this. Don't do any crazy angles. Just keep them flat against your face. And you should be able to screw it up. And you can see it gets really red. So that's why I'm not going to actually take it out again. Because um, I don't want to irritate the piercing. Microdermals can be a little fussy. So, yeah, I don't want to irritate it. But, yeah, and then you would take whichever top you like and screw it back on. And then that should be it. Um, to be honest, I don't know if it's going to work for you the first time that you try it. Because how long have I had my microdermal? I think I've had mine for almost a full quarter. So, almost 
I think it's been eight weeks that I've had it, and I just now figured out how to change it. Maybe it's because the placement on my face is just more difficult um, to get around with it. The lady who I saw did it, she had it on her chest, and it was easier for her to change. I feel like that could be easier. But, um, yeah, definitely pick up a pair of these pliers. If not, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, definitely go to your local um, piercer, jewelry person, because they'll do it for you. They know how to do it. And then you won't deal with accidentally ripping it out or hurting it or making it irritated and then it rejects. I don't know. It's kind of a tricky thing to do, but you'll get the hang of it. Um, I hope this was informative. I know there's probably a lot of questions about this because there's not a lot of videos on YouTube on how to change microdermals because when I tried to find them, I was completely lost. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, message me because I can help you because <laughs> I figured it out for myself. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.